preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. Think I'm nothing sorry of for you. your troubles. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the Mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Things, many things, too many things. So hungry. Just a little money, I beg of you. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. No, you don't understand. And I have nothing. Please, sir, if you have any money, my family is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? If you just have a look. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order. Which means I have failed my client. We need more time! This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me. What do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? 
These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination. It is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses. I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! You must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Than I. Listen here, citizen. If you're tired of shoddy pathetic. Goods, then Absolutely come pathetic. Me. Where did you learn your craft? I have a shot. Down, infidel! You cannot run forever! May God have mercy on your soul. now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah. But he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Oh! 
me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malib. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Thank you. 
You know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the but computer But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Can't talk, gotta work. Aren't you tired? Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. 
I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Screwing around and lie down on the animus. of memory already. Whenever you're ready, just select the memory you'd like to visit. time and enter your memory, Mr. Miles. When you are exposed, uh. use sharp turns or <laughs> climb over buildings to break your pursuer's line of sight. You stabbed me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Take your time. 
When moving slowly, you reduce your chances of attracting unwanted attention. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Have you gone mad? Out of his mind. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Students, is how we all should fight. The heretic, the heretic. You must be busy. I understand. Don't toss ah, your weapons you around so carelessly. You, looking at all. Ah. you won't often get a second you chance to strike. strike. What's going on? What's he running for? Now, why would you do that? He's going to hurt himself.
Where is he going? The short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies. Kill him! You're mine! Remember to reach out for ledges should you fall while climbing.
I'm more attentive than your surroundings. Yes, come, come, come. Let me show you everything I have. Oh, oh, what do you want? Everything here, my friend. I I hey! Have. You look familiar. If there's anything I can help you with. You're anything asking for what? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Yeah! Uh, 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 to the uh, uh, forever! Uh, my way! Move! Uh, 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 did you do that? I'll get you! Your life is now! I'll have your head! How did you do that? Pay for your sins! Responsible of you. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. Huh? <laughs> 
Geber kafir! Could he have escaped? He's gone. You know who 
Kime boyun eğmek istiyorsun? Saçman fayda etmez. Yes. Ha! 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 
the hidden blade during fight will allow you to quickly dispatch an enemy you've thrown to the ground. I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it is an ill omen. something you need no longer go without any man willing to work can have his due come speak with me let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you...
rewarded. Talal provides. Huh? Oh, these are troubled guys. Don't move him! Find him! That's him! There! You get won't him. get away from me! To love and understand your pain, what you love, you will survive. All that is asked is an honest day's work, a small sacrifice for great for what happened here. You need no longer go without. Any man willing to work can have his due. Come, speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. <laughs> Troubled times in which we live. Food is scarce, money tight, but it need not be this way. There are opportunities for those with the courage to seize them. <laughs> 